Amen. Job 14, 7 to 9, and Psalm 91, reading from the New International Version. Yeah, New At International least, Version. There is hope for a tree. If new. it is cut down, it will sprout again, and its new shoots will not fail. Its roots may grow old in the ground, and its stump die in the soil. Yet, at the scent of water, it will bud and put forth shoots like a plant. Look at me. You are not cut down yet. You are not cut down yet. And you see, trees are equated to God's people. The Bible says, my people are like a tree. The planting of the Lord. So he said, even when a tree is cut down from its root, there is still hope for that tree. Because by the scent of water, it will spring up again. I declare resurrection in your life. I declare your business will rise again. I declare your finances will come alive again. I declare you will not die. I declare you will live and not die. Your business is coming alive again. I declare a resurrection in every area of your life. A resurrection of your organs, a resurrection of your kidneys, a resurrection of your liver, a resurrection of your intestine, a new, a new organ, a new organ, a resurrection of your pancreas. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, if you believe it, put your hands together, give God some praise. Now, hear me, hear me. Psalm 91, quickly, Psalm 91. Stand on your feet. Everybody, let's follow it. He that dwells in the secret place of the most I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Go ahead, go ahead. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. I command your deliverance from the snare of the fowler. Say, I command my deliverance, deliverance. And the deliverance of this house and every family, every son and daughter of this house, I command your deliverance from the snare of the fowler. Put your hands together. Declare it in the name of Jesus. I declare deliverance for this house, for every son, for every daughter, every boy, every girl, every child connected to this house and altar, wherever they are, home and abroad, let them be delivered from the snare of the fowler. Amen. Go ahead. And from the noisome pestilence. From what? The noisome pestilence. Say, I command deliverance. From the nostrils pestilence. Be delivered from pestilence. Let every son and daughter, let every father and mother, let every wife and husband of this house, connected to this house, home and abroad, wherever they are, let them be delivered from the nostril pestilence. Put your hands together. Command their deliverance. Command deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Next. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. Amen. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. I want you to command deliverance. I want you to command divine coverings. Say divine coverings. The Bible said, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Today is the day of battle. Let the Lord cover our head. Let the Lord cover the head of this house. Let the Lord cover your head. Let the Lord cover the head of this nation. Somebody, put your hands together. Pray that prayer right now. Lord, cover our head. Cover the head of this church. Cover the head of Ghana. Cover the head of this nation. Cover our head. Name of Jesus. Amen. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, uh -huh. nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. We rebuke the terror by night. We rebuke the arrow that flyeth by day. Intercept the terror by now. Intercept the arrow that flyeth by Put your hands together. Open your mouth. Intercept. Interception. We intercept the terror by night. We intercept the arrow that flyeth by day. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. Pestilence in darkness, destruction that wasted at noonday. Anything that is designed to waste you, the waster, the pestilence, the waster, intercept it. Arrest it right now. Rebuke it. Put your hands together. Intercept. Arrest. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Move on. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Let a thousand fall. Let ten thousand fall. All of us, open your mouth, declare. Let a thousand fall. Let ten thousand of my enemies, accusers, and others, let them fall on the political scene, on the economic scene, on the financial scene, on the social scene, on the spiritual scene. Let them fall. Open your mouth. Declare. Say something. You must open your mouth. Say what something. If you don't say anything, nothing moves. Next point. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Hear me. I declare that at the end of the day, when the dust settles, you will see what shall become of them who hurt you. You will see what shall become of them who said they were powerful and they were connected and they had no regard and respect for you and God. You will see what shall become of them. I declare divine vindication. Open your mouth, declare a divine vindication. Amen. Next point. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Hear me. These things are not just written for you to read. This is not for reading. These are written as weapons. They are intercontinental ballistic missiles. You have to learn how to appropriate what is written and declare what is written. And it is when you declare it that it goes into effect. You want to declare on authority of the scriptures from a heavenly perspective that there shall no evil before you and this house or this nation. That no plague will come now our dwelling or any of our loved ones. Open your mouth for one minute. Declare what is written. Jesus said, it is written. Open your mouth. Declare it. In the name of Jesus. Move to the next. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. Now. To keep thee in all thy ways. Hear me. Hebrews 1.14. Are they not ministering angels assigned to minister to the heads of salvation? How many heads of salvation do we have here? How many of you are born again? If you are hell, hear me. Deploy the intervention and assistance and the guidance and undertakings of the angels. They are available. They won't go to work until we deploy them. Command their services. Engage their services. Deploy their assistance. Open your mouth. One minute. Deploy it. Put your hands together. Deploy. I deploy the services of ministering angels for my family, for this house, for my nation, for the economy, for the business community in this house. Let it be done in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, number two. Yes, go ahead. They shall bear thee upon their hands. Let thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, uh -huh. and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample at the The feet. Bible says that the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. I want to declare that in the name of Jesus, let the serpent be bruised. I bruise the head of the serpent. I bruise his head. I bruise his head. I bruise the head of the serpent under my feet. In the name of Jesus, I bruise the head of the serpent and the enemy. I put my feet on the neck of the enemy. Let your feet be on the neck of the enemy. Go ahead. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore uh -huh. will I deliver him. Uh -huh. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Uh -huh. He shall call upon me yes. and I will answer him. Uh -huh. And I will be with him in trouble. Uh -huh. I will deliver him and honor him. Deliverance against exaltation, deliverance, honor, command exaltation, command deliverance, command honor for you and the house and your nation, businesses. We command exaltation of businesses. We command honor to be bestowed upon the house. Deliverance and honor, exaltation over the house. Go on. With, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Command the release of long life. Declare long life. He will satisfy us. This house. Let every man, boy, girl of this house be satisfied with long life and enjoy the salvation of the Lord. Open your mouth. Declare that God will satisfy me in this house, my nation, with long life. Show us his salvation. Now, 
Hear me. In conclusion, this is what I want you to do. You see, before, before every wedding, there's something the counselors here call a rehearsal. They come and they rehearse. And they are told what to do on the day of the wedding. And then the organist will play right at rehearsal when they are marching in. Ding, 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 ding. before it is played. It is played before that day. If you don't know how to rehearse the victory, before the victory, you will never have it. I want somebody, rehearse the victory, rehearse the breakthrough, rehearse the blessing right now, like it has happened and it will happen. Put your hands together, dance, shout, do something. <laughs> 